All right, so it's finally spring here in Ohio, and it's Coyote's favorite time of year, it's snapping turtle season. And he's really excited to catch the first snapping turtle of the season, but I want to beat him to it. So I'm out here right now. He hasn't gotten here yet. I'm just gonna scope the area. Wait a minute. I think I see a turtle. Oh, 100% turtle. I see his carapace. You ready? He's a big one! Oh, he's in the mud. He's in the mud. He's in the mud. Can you see it? There he is! Oh, he's all dirty. Come with me. Gotta watch. Where's his head? Where's his head? Oh, there he is! Carl Jr. I caught this turtle five years ago. He was probably 20 pounds. I bet you he's 30 pounds now. Look at this turtle. Hey, buddy. Oh, don't get that close to me. Check it out. First turtle of the season. Coyote, eat your heart out. All right, let's go get him up close to the cameras. Officially spring in Ohio, which means that it is also time for us to start catching snapping turtles. Dragon Tails kicks off today. Now, we just got back from Australia, and the marketing team said, you can go out into the field today on one condition. And I said, okay, what's that condition? The Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit Reptiles and Amphibians Edition just came out, and they said, here's the challenge, here's your mission. Can you take the kit out, one of the coolest things in the kit, is the toy common snapping turtle. Coyote, can you catch a snapping turtle and get a photograph of the toy snapping turtle on top of a real snapping turtle? And I said, you better believe I can. So myself and Mario, who's operating GoPros today, and I'll have GoPro too. Actually, why don't I just turn on and get a shot of you, Mario, filming me. Hold on, not on yet. There we go. Howdy. There's Mario filming me. Our goal is going to be to catch the first snapping turtle of the year get a picture of a toy snapping turtle on top of a real one. So stick with us, it's gonna get muddy, it's gonna get wet, and with any luck, we're gonna find some dragons. Now some people say that the most wonderful time of the year is Christmas, but as far as Coyote Peterson and Mario Aldecoa are concerned, the best time of the year is spring, when all of the animals start moving. So now today, we're at one of my favorite metro parks in central Ohio, Blacklick Woods Metro Park. And what, did you see something already? I'm gonna go grab the other camera. Oh, Mario is getting a walking shot of us going past the camera. I guess we don't want to leave that back there. We are cutting through the underbrush, headed down towards the pond. This will be the very first snapping turtle of the year. Oh, I'm excited. Now, the only concern that I have right now is that it is not very warm out. And holy mackerel, I just found an enormous deer antler. Holy cow. Dude, Mario, look what I just found. No kidding, dude. Wow. Look at the size of that shed. Cool. Literally just found this. Holy cow. So you may remember the buddy film that Mario and I shot uh, this past winter looking for sheds. And right here on the side of the pond is a huge antler. Holy cow. That's huge. This is one of the biggest antlers I've ever found. Yeah. <laughs> but again, because we were in the Metro Parks, it's not something we could actually keep, but I am gonna turn this one into the visitor center so other people can enjoy it. Look at that. Wow, stuff's already starting to chomp on it. You can see right there. Wow. That is a great start to the day. See, this gives me confidence because it means we don't have to go out in the freezing cold to find antlers, right? We could just go out when it's warm. He does make a pretty good point. Looks like we can find antlers when it gets a little warmer. This is great. All right, let's find some turtles. It's kind of fun filming episodes with just GoPros. Makes it a little more challenging. Okay, you ready to get into the water? Let's do it. Here we go. best play is to really just kind of fan out and keep our wits about us. Is that movement over there? Where? 
What is that? Or is that vegetation that's moving? You see that? That's some vegetation, but that could be on the back of a coral shell. It's moving. It's definitely moving. That's not the wind. I think that is a turtle. Hold on. Yeah, it is. Yep. It is. I'm going for it. Got it. Nice. Yes. Nice. Look at that. First snapping turtle of the year. Wow. He is a beaster. Look at the size of that dragon. Wow, he is a heavy boy. This looks just like the toy too. Oh, sorry, I'm watching again. <laughs> Holy mackerel, first snapping turtle of the year. There it is. Wow, hi buddy. I recognize you. I know you, I've caught you before. You are looking good and healthy. I haven't caught this turtle in a couple years. His name is Carl and oh, he is a good looking turtle. All right, let's get him back over here. Mission complete in just a matter of minutes getting out here into the pond, our first snapping turtle of the year. All right, let's get him up on shore and get our photograph. Okay, so I'm gonna set you here. You're not gonna get away and go anywhere. Although now you just took a mouthful of leaves. Whew, getting muddy. That is the only way to do it in dragon season, man. Okay, go ahead, hand me the adventure kit. Oh, we got some water in there. Ooh. So I'm gonna record all my snapping turtle data inside the reptiles and amphibians field journal this year. Okay. And our real goal, this is so cool. This turtle looks exactly like the turtle we caught. It does. That is amazing. <laughs> they are almost identical. You could not have planned this any better. Oh buddy, I'm so happy to see you. What an awesome turtle. I can't believe it. It looks <laughs> just like him. Here, let me prop them both up on my leg for a second. And when people ask, are you toys anatomically accurate? I think this pretty much proves it. Look at the color design of the toy turtle as compared to the real turtle. I see you're very close to my nose. No, we're not biting Coyote's nose today. The head structure, triangular in shape, yellow eyes, dark colored head, lighter forelimbs and hind limbs, and the quintessential greenish brown carapace, which of course, as we know, is the top of the shell. Now, if you look at the plastron of the toy snapping turtle, it's one of the key features when it comes to truly identifying this as a snapping turtle. And let's look at the bottom of the actual turtle itself. Completely accurate in design. Look at that. Toy common snapping turtle. How cool is this? <laughs> now we need to do is get the ultimate photograph so you can take the photo while I hold on to both of these turtles because obviously taking the photo myself in this instance isn't exactly gonna be possible. I don't think it gets any better than this. Dude, I'm so excited. It's the perfect turtle for this shot. <laughs> okay, so with every snapping turtle that I catch and document for the Columbus Metro Parks, I make sure to take measurements. This is my little turtle measuring tape. Pretty cool, it's a turtle and its tail is the actual measuring tape. So I wanna get the length of the carapace, both the length and the width. What I'm gonna to do to record that information is actually write it down in my reptiles and amphibians field journal. I have not put turtle numbers into these books yet, but now that we have them, it's the perfect place to record all of that data. Now we need to do the weight. I have a basic 50 pound scale. I know this turtle is not over 50 pounds. And of course, my classic weigh bag that has shown up in pretty much every episode of Dragon Tales. Okay, ready? Turtle going up. Okay, you are clear. Clear. Oh man, right there, 30 pounds. This turtle is about six pounds heavier than he has been in the past. Oh, there we go, give me that backpack. All right, well we got our ultimate photograph at this point. I think the marketing team is going to be thrilled. I have to give you guys a warning. If you're out this spring and you see a snapping turtle in the wild, do not try to get your toy close like I did. They have an incredibly powerful bite and a turtle this size could easily, I know, take off a finger. And you can even see how powerful it is when it comes to biting on to Carl Jr. Can I have this back? Carl, can I have the toy back? 
I guess you like toy turtles just as much as the rest of us. So guys, if you see snapping turtles out moving about this spring, simply admire them from a safe distance and leave catching them and putting your toys in their mouths up to me. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, girl. Back off into the wild with you. What a great start to the Dragon Tails season. Our first snapping turtle of the year, a 30 pound giant. And I cannot wait to see what sort of turtles we manage to get up close for the cameras in the coming weeks. If you are excited for more snapping turtle encounters, make sure to go back and watch this episode from our turtle adventures last year. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure.